Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world or whatever time you are watching this video, Canada has a long history of welcoming people from around the world. From the early settlers to modern-day immigrants, our nation has always been a mosaic of cultures and backgrounds. Immigrants and temporary residents contribute a lot to our country. They enrich our communities with their unique traditions and perspectives, making Canada a vibrant and dynamic place to live. They bring new skills and ideas which are essential for innovation and progress. Whether in technology, healthcare, or the arts, their contributions are invaluable. They help our economy grow by filling crucial roles and starting new businesses. Their entrepreneurial spirit drives economic development and job creation. The Temporary Foreign Worker Program is an important part of this. It allows businesses to meet their labor needs when there are not enough Canadians available to do the job. It allows businesses to hire workers from other countries when Canadians are not available. This flexibility is crucial for industries like agriculture, hospitality, and construction. These workers fill important gaps in the labor market. They ensure that essential services and industries continue to operate smoothly. They help businesses to succeed and grow. By providing the necessary workforce, they enable companies to expand and thrive in a competitive market. The TFW program benefits all Canadians. It supports economic stability and growth, which in turn improves the quality of life for everyone. However, it is important to make sure the program is fair and well-managed. Ensuring transparency and accountability is key to its success. This is why Canada is making changes to the TFW program rules. These updates aim to protect the rights of all workers and ensure fair treatment. The goal is to protect both Canadian workers and foreign workers. By doing so, we create a more equitable and just labor market. We want to help businesses find the skilled workers they need. This ensures that our economy remains strong and competitive on the global stage. We also want to make sure that Canadians have access to good jobs. By balancing the needs of businesses and workers, we can build a prosperous future for all. The TFW program has been facing some challenges in recent years. Some businesses have not been following the rules, there have been cases of foreign workers being exploited. In some cases, businesses have not been giving Canadian workers a fair chance to apply for jobs. The new rules are designed to address these challenges. The government wants to make sure that the program is fair for everyone. They want to protect both Canadian and foreign workers. The changes focus on transparency and accountability. They aim to create a level playing field for all workers in Canada. One of the biggest changes is the requirement for employers to do a labor market impact assessment, commonly known as an LMIA. This means they must show that they have made genuine efforts to hire Canadians first by advertising the job in Canada and interviewing local candidates. Employers need to prove that there are no qualified Canadians available to do the job, which can be a lengthy and detailed process. The government is also making it more difficult for employers to pay foreign workers less than Canadians, ensuring fair wages for all. Additionally, they are increasing the fees that employers have to pay to hire foreign workers, which includes application and processing fees. This will help to ensure that foreign workers are not being used to undercut the wages of Canadian workers, promoting a fair job market. Employers must also provide better working conditions and support to foreign workers, which is a significant improvement. This includes essential things like housing, transportation, and health care, ensuring that foreign workers are well taken care of while they are in Canada. Employers are also encouraged to offer training and development opportunities to help foreign workers integrate better into the Canadian workforce. Section 4. Impact on Employers – A Balancing Act These changes will require businesses to be more careful and strategic when hiring foreign workers. They must ensure compliance with the new regulations to avoid any legal complications. Employers will need to start the hiring process earlier and be prepared to provide more detailed documentation. This includes proof of efforts to hire locally before seeking foreign talent. However, the government is also making it easier for businesses to hire workers in certain high-demand occupations, recognizing the critical need in sectors like healthcare, construction, and technology. Overall, the changes are intended to strike a balance between the needs of businesses and the rights of workers. This balance aims to protect the domestic labor market while addressing genuine labor shortages. It is important to remember that the TFW program is a privilege, not a right. Businesses must use it responsibly and ethically. 
The goal is to use it only when necessary to fill genuine labor shortages, ensuring that the program supports economic growth without undermining local employment opportunities. Section 5 New Opportunities for Canadian Workers The new rules are also good news for Canadian workers. By making it more difficult for businesses to hire foreign workers, the government is hoping to create more job opportunities for Canadians. This is especially important in sectors where there are labor shortages such as healthcare and technology. The changes are also designed to protect Canadian workers from being laid off and replaced by foreign workers. The government wants to ensure that Canadians are given priority when it comes to jobs in Canada. Section 6. Building a Stronger Canada Together The changes to the TFW program are a positive step towards building a stronger and fairer Canada. The goal is to create a system that works for everyone, businesses, and workers alike. By protecting the rights of all workers, we can create a more prosperous and equitable society for all. It is important to remember that immigration is a strength of Canada. We need to continue to welcome newcomers and ensure they have the support they need to succeed. By working together, we can ensure that the TFW program benefits all Canadians. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel and we will keep you updated as other changes become available.